What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Teach. This is the Movie Reviews. I am Mr. Teach. Welcome to my Drunken Movie Review Series. Tonight's movie is 1991's The Last Boy Scout, starring Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans. The movie is basically about uh, Bruce Willis, played by, plays uh, a character named Joe Hallenbeck, a private investigator, and uh, Damon Wayans is a disgraced ex-quarterback football player. Uh, and his girlfriend, played by Holly Berry, hires Bruce Willis to defend her against some guys who've been harassing her. And they eventually, the Bruce Willis and uh, Damon Wayans team up, and they encounter a, a, a conspiracy about you know football and gambling. And that's about all I want to say because this is one of the movies where you don't want to spoil the plot. This movie is one of the great movies of the '90s. I mean, politically incorrect, violent as shit, and all the better for it. I mean, the violence in this movie is off the chain. People get shot in the head, you know, pinned up against cars. There's one part where a guy basically gets de decapitated, you know, decimated with, like, helicopter blades. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. I mean, they don't make these kind of movies anymore. Everything's so politically correct. The bad guys are just, like, despicable scumbags who deserve exactly what, they, what they're what they going to get. The script is by Shane Black... Who, uh, I don't know if you know, know, but he did, like, some of the most memorable 80s action movies, including probably the first Lethal Weapon, and he got paid, like, $1.75 for this movie. I mean, that is ridiculous for a writer, and it is absolutely well-deserved. The script of this movie is first-rate, so many, so many memorable quotes. I mean, like, I, I think I just fucked the squirrel to death, you know, don't touch me again, I'll kill you. My subscription, my subscription to Jugs Magazine just ran out, among many others. I mean, prior to Quentin Tarantino, I think he's probably one of the best writers of his generation. It is fantastic. The acting is first rate. Damon Wayans, who's largely, largely disappeared from cinema screens, you know, he provides a good center to this movie. I mean, you know, he's, he's kind of a scumbag, as is pretty much everyone in this movie. But, you know, you, once you learn his backstory about being a quarterback who's spoiler warning, hooked on drugs, you know, you still kind of root for him. You know, there's a certain amount of sympathy I do generate toward him. Uh, the bad guy in this movie, a... Oh, God, I can't think of his name. Some Texas hick who's been in a hundred different movies. Um, you know, he's he's very good, too. That's the only thing I like. The bad guys in this movie, you know, are just despicable scumbags. They get exactly what's coming to them. There's no, like, oh, I'm doing this for humanity reasons, and, you know, I, I, I believe this is the right thing to do. No, they're just dirtbags. They're fucking scumbags who get exactly what they fucking deserve. Direction of this movie is fantastic. Tony, the late, great Tony Scott directed this movie, and he does a very good job. The action sequences have punch. They have impact. People, as I said, people get shot in the head and just all kinds of nasty, creative things. There's even a little 13-year-old girl who's Bruce Willis' daughter who swears up a storm. And it was, I guess at the time, it was pretty controversial. You know, oh no, a teenager swearing, a little 13-year-old swearing bullshit. I, I was not too much younger than the, the girl in this movie, and I swore like a sailor, so... I don't buy that for a minute. Sorry, parents, but, like, your kids swear. When you're not around, your kids fucking swear. Um, but without a doubt, the star of this movie is Bruce Willis. He is awesome. This is probably one of his best acting performances. I mean, he plays such an irredeemable scumbag, Joe Hallenbach, but he's consistent. To the very end, he's a dirtbag, but he even says, at some point, he looks in the mirror and goes... You're an asshole. Nobody likes you. Smile, you fuck. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I mean, overall, this movie is, you know, one of the best action, eight, 90s action movies. I mean, they probably wouldn't make a movie like this today because, you know, it's just, it's so profane, it's so politically incorrect, and I kind of missed that time be before, you know, everything became politically correct. I mean, if this movie came out today, there'd be, like, Posts on Facebook and, you know, MySpace. Oh, it was disgusting and violent. Which it is, but, you know, it's just... Sometimes you need a jolt like that to, like, kick you out of your, you know, funk of bad, eight, of you know, bad old tens action movies. In fact, if I had to come up with a flaw of this movie, it is dis 
disgustingly misogynistic. I mean, it, it really is. Like, women in this movie are not treated well. They're either cheating wives, strippers, or just, you know, just not, you know, just degraded in every way possible. So, you know, I have a lot of feminist friends, both male and female, who probably would hate this movie. And understandable, understandable. You know, I can't sit there and say it's not, but... It's just one of those movies that made me laugh. One of the most improv to dance sequences I've ever seen. Anyone who's seen this movie knows exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, it still cracked me up to this day. You'll know it when you see it, if you watch this movie, which you should. This movie is a blast from the past. If I had to give a rating for this movie, oh boy. I'd probably give it like an 8 point, an 8. You know, it's dated in some ways, but it's still a blast. The action sequences are well edited. Rest in peace, Tony Scott. You were the man. Apparently, the movie was not well, not fun to make. Like, everyone involved hated making it. Bruce Willis and the producer Joe Silver, like, were at odds. Tony Scott and, and uh, Joe Silver were at odds. I mean, it was just, it was not a fun movie to make. But overall, yeah, I would absolutely recommend this movie 100%. You should see this movie in a heartbeat. That is my review. This is Mr. T66 Movie Reviews, and I will see you next time.